differential equations help us to understand that involves rates of change. It helps us to understand spread of disease, weather and climate prediction, traffic flow, financial market, population growth, water pollution, chemical reaction, suspension bridges, brain function, rockets, tumor growth, radioactive decay, air flow across the plane wings, electrical circuit, planetary motion, vibration on guitar strings. Okay, now what is the differential equation? From calculus, we know that differentiate means compute a derivative and one definition of differential equation is an equation that containing a derivative. This derivative can be explained rate of change. That rate of change can be anything from a rate of population growth or rate of radioactive decay. Now, the order of differential equation is the highest order of the derivative. We can see is the first order derivative and is the second order equation. Now we can simply solve it by integrating it. While the integrating, we can we have to note that while the first order containing a one parameter and second order containing two parameters. What is a separable differential equations? A separable differential equation can be expressed as a product of a function of x and y, dy by dx equal to g of x and h of y. Of course, h of y is not equal to 0. For an example, dy by dx equal to 2xy square. Multiplying by both sides by dx and dividing both sides by y square to separate the variables. Now, we have to integrate both sides. By integrating, we can find that two arbitrary constant c1 and c2 we can write it as c the c is called the combined constant of integration now y equal to 1 by x square plus c this is the solution of the differential equation what is a general solution of differential equation dy by dx equal to x by y by integrating we get y square is equal to x square plus c this is a simple general solution of dif differential equation now what is initial condition so satisfying a condition in from yxo equal to yo is called initial condition for an example, y square x square plus c satisfying the initial condition y o equal to 2. From here we can get c equal to 4. So y square is equal to x square plus 4. For an example, dy by dx equal to 2x 1 plus y square e to the power x square. It's a simple separable differential equation as it contains a two function x and y by solving it 1 by 1 plus y square dy equal to 2x it is equal x square dx now integrating both side we can have 1 by y square dy integration 2x it is equal x square dx we can assume that x square equal to u or du equal to 2x dx so for simple it we can have integration 1 by 1 plus y square dy equal to integration to the power x du and integration we can have tan square y plus c1 equal to e to the power x plus c2 c1 and c2 are integration constant so tan square y equal to e to the power x square plus c.
the C is called the combined constant of integration as we have known previously. Now dy by dx equal to 2x 1 plus y square e to the power x square tan square tan inverse y equal to e to the power x square plus c we now have y as implicit function of x we can find the y as an implicit function of x by taking the tangent of both sides. You can see here tan, tan inverse y equal to tan e to the power x square plus c. So y equal to tan e to the power x square plus c. This is the solution of the differential equation. Let's have a look at some example like dy by dx plus xy equal to e to the power 2x. That is the equation containing a derivative so it's a differential equation. And remember that dy by dx and prime are two ways to derivative. It's a prime notation using an example of a second order derivative. So y double prime plus y prime plus y square is equal to sine x. Equation containing of one of these derivatives of any order, then it's a differential equation. Let another example, if we take a multivariable calculus, then we have seen a partial derivative. This comes up to a differential equation too. uxx plus uyy equal to zero. Now we can have some example as y double prime plus y prime plus 25y equal to 10 cos 5x. It's a simple differential equation. Now let we can have that y equal to sine 5x is a solution of a problem. So to find a solution by putting the value of y at the left hand side we can have sine of 5x double prime plus 2 sine of 5x prime plus 25 sine of 5x now let's check the uh, equation separately we can have sine 5x prime equal to cos of 5x by differentiating the sine of 5x and taking the 5 as inner function uh, again derivative the sine of 5x we can have 5 cos of 5x single derivative equal to 5 sine of 5x and a negative function of course as a cos 5x derivative we know that negative sine 5x so again taking the inner function so it's calculated as negative 25 sine of 5x so putting the value of the above equation we have have minus 25 cos sine 5x plus 2 cos 5x equal to 25 sine of 5x it will be cancelled out and we have the right hand side as 10 cos of 5x so as y equal to sine 5x is a solution of the problem we satisfy the equation of left hand side equal to right hand side.